Hi everyone, uh, this is the second video of report portal series and today we are going to see how to install the report portal. So there are three ways of doing that. Uh, one is with Docker and the second one is with the help of Kubernetes and third one is using Google um, Cloud Marketplace, right? So the description of all of these are mentioned here, which are like, uh, like quite readable. Uh, but the one which we are going to use is this docker one so the prerequisite is uh, we need to have the docker installed and just in case you are new for docker i have already created one video on my channel regarding basics of docker and how we can use it now uh, once you are done with the installation of docker uh, based on whether you are on linux whether you are on windows Right. If you are on Windows, uh, you will be having something like uh, this. This is Docker Desktop, right? And of course, you can use command line as well. But here, it is really like kind of you can select the containers, you can stop them in one go. Uh, you can see the logs directly from here, right? So once this is done, you are done with the installation step. The next thing is configure and deploy the report portal. For that, as we are using Docker, we will be using Docker Compose file. You can go to this uh, GitHub link, and uh, once you are there, you can have the Docker Compose file, right? Apart from that, there is this particular curl command that we can directly use. So as soon as you will use this curl command in the command prompt, maybe you are in some specific folder, and that curl command will automatically download a docker compose file for you right let me quickly show you so i'll delete this one and i'll open cmd here i'll copy this particular command i'll paste it so i'll go back to the location here you can see the docker compose file is there right now the next thing is, once we have the docker compose file, then um, we have like this, start the application, this step is not needed for now, right? This is for something if you want to change the password, but as we are using it for local, uh, we do not need to do that. This is for the security regard because uh, in this docker compose file, you will see the password as well. Let me quickly uh, show you the admin password and okay let me reload it so here you can see rp initial admin password will be there right so you can override this as per the password that you want to keep and then next thing is start the application using the following command so let me close it Before starting it, there is one more thing that uh, I want to say with you guys, like uh, we need to define some WSL configuration just in case you are using it on, on your local and you want to configure like how much memory uh, the Docker containers can utilize, right? Because it it is going to use the WSL2 and how you can see that is like if you are on Docker desktop, and if you go to settings and here and under resources it is going to uh, show you that you can configure limits on the memory cpu and swap size allocated to wsl2 in a web config file so i have created a web config file because without it i could see like when i was running this command of docker composer for report portal uh, the utilization um, was too like it was not properly handled the core number of cores were not configured by me it was using just one core and the application was working a bit slow so here i have configured it like the memory that i want to use it's 4 gb it will limit the vm memory in wsl2 the number of cores are 2 swap 2 gb so swap means like in case this physical ram which we have allocated is completed we can uh, like we are allowing wsl services to use two extra gbs from uh, our like 
um, known WSL space, right? Then we have to execute this shutdown command just in case uh, it is to ensure that just in case any WSL service is up and running, it will perform a shutdown, it will restart, and it will use this configuration which we have mentioned here, right? So now uh, coming back to the installation steps. After this, we need to start the application using the following command. So just copy the command and wherever you have uh, downloaded your Docker Compose file, just run this command. So here, what does this hyphen P report portal do? That means we are adding a report portal as a prefix in the name of all the containers which are going to be up hyphen D means daemon mode so this will run as a background service even this uh, particular command prompt is like that particular command we come out of it even then um, the process will keep up and running even this command prompt is killed even then the process will be up and running and then hyphen force hyphen hyphen force recreate so here we can see the definition of it like it will recreate the containers and here we have some of the useful commands docker compose logs source logs for from all the container docker logs container names source logs from selected container docker ps hyphen a so it will kind of uh, give you the containers which are having this prefix report portal then delete for deleting you can use docker rm-f and it will delete all the report portal containers so let me use docker compose this particular command right as of now you can see in docker desktop there is now yeah as of now there is only there is no running container here you can see the images are coming up but no running containers are there and if you see here these are all the containers that we will be having right and these are the statuses of the containers few of them are created some are uh, like this is a network which is created for um, connecting between different containers we have this network right then some of the containers are started and as soon as all of these containers will be started after that we'll be using the report portal UI we'll be launching the report portal so by default it is on 8080 just in case you have maybe Jenkins installed in that port or some other uh, application on that port you can uh, override the port in your docker compose file I'll show you once uh, all the containers are up and running so here we can see uh, all the containers are up now right and it can take some time if you are doing it for the first time because the images will be pulled to your local first and uh, some of the images are like um, are having bigger size so it can take some time depending upon the internet speed right and after that it will up uh, those images which will which can also take some time so in total like for me uh, for very first time it took around 10 to 15 minutes but once the images are on your local it will be up and running within three uh, two to three minutes right so now if we see uh, here we can see uh, in our docker desktop these are all the containers which are there and all of them are having this uh, like report portal mentioned here right so these are under report portal these are all the containers and here you can see logs by just clicking on any container let me go back and here the WSL config that we have used uh, is being displayed so we assigned two CPUs uh, up to 4 GB right 
and swap size will be used once all of this memory is used right so now let us see the next step which is to launch the report portal so in our case uh, as i was showing that in case you are using some other like some other port is already using the port some other application is already used using the port defined you can just replace this with that particular port right as of now it will use 8080 but if on your 8080 some other service is running you can just change that port here right for report portal so now the next thing is we need to launch it on 8080 port so that can be done on localhost 8080 and UI login so this is how it will look like the login page right and uh, after this once you are able to log in like once you see this login page uh, these are the credentials that you can use now super admin and this is the user access so we'll log in with the super admin first and the password is mentioned in docker compose file as well right so here once we log in so this is how it will look like right uh, like this is the dashboard screen by default will be opened here as of now we do not have any dashboard because we have just logged in and here you will have the launches and once you automate your uh, uh, once you link your automation framework with this report portal the launches will be displayed here where this TTL is total past failed uh, skipped and these are the different type of uh, categories that we have for the bugs product bug if it is a defect automation bug if it is an issue with your automation uh, system issue if there is some environmental issue and uh, to investigate so this is something on which we need to perform our analysis so uh, this is about the installation and just to rephrase it like when I installed it for the very first time I observed the issues so uh, issue was something like when I was logging in I was hitting the login URL the screen was just showing me loading here right and uh, I was not able to see the username password field so for that what I had to do is I had to increase uh, the w like this WSL config perform a shutdown and then after a restart uh, I could see yeah the login screen is opening so this is the final configuration that I had so it all depends upon the how many memory that you can allocate how what kind of laptop you are having and how many resources are there so if you pro like kind of allocate these this type of configuration uh, to your docker and then you will try to make docker compose up in that case you will see that yeah this uh, report portal will be up and running so that's all for the installation part guys and in the next video we'll go through this UI we'll have a, a small overview of this particular uh, UI that we have here and then we'll uh, in next videos we'll see how to integrate the report portal with the automation framework.